Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers. And here's Dot. You want to come here, Dot? You want to get these two sticks? She's a good girl today. And I hope you're in a good place today and are warm uh, where it's cold outside. And we're headed today uh, by Monday or so down into the, the teens, our, our weather. And it was in the 70s yesterday. So Texas winter, we just get it all. Uh, uh, summertime weather and fall and rain and cold and we may have some uh, ice uh, the first part of next week and that's not a good thing with the way people drive in the Houston area. So at any rate, uh, I've been thinking today about the friends we have in our lives and you know I hope you have friends. You know we have lots of uh, Facebook friends or Instagram friends or uh, followers, but those aren't really the friends that you can count on when you need a helping hand from a friend. Uh, we're, we're very fortunate that if we have three or four lifetime friends uh, that we can call upon and uh, no explanations are needed if we need their help. Uh, they know us and they're willing to help us and we're willing to help them. And if we have a handful of good friends like that, we are very blessed. Uh, in our gospel lesson at Mass today, uh, today from uh, Mark chapter 2, uh, a group of people uh, have a friend who is paralyzed, and they want to get their friend before Jesus so that Jesus can, uh, can heal him and minister to him. But uh, the crowds were so big that uh, the house where Jesus was in Capernaum was filled with people, and there was no way to get their friend there to Jesus. Uh, so they climbed up on the roof and made a little hole in the roof and lowered their friend on a pallet uh, down before Jesus. And there's an interesting uh, expression in there where uh, we're told by, by Mark that seeing their faith, Jesus said to the young man, uh, son, your, your sins are forgiven. And that created quite a stir. And so Jesus said, what's, what's easier to say that your sins are forgiven, arise, take up your mat and walk, but that you will know that the Son of Man has authority uh, to forgive sins. I say to you, young man, get up, walk, take your pallet, and go home. And he did. But that phrase, seeing their faith, Jesus wound up healing them. So whose faith was the operative faith in this? There's no evidence that the young man on the pallet we don't even know for sure he was a man, but, the, but there's no evidence that he had faith, but it's the faith of the friends that Jesus saw, the friends who cared enough about their sick friend to carry him before Jesus. Jesus saw their faith and responded. There are other episodes in the Gospels where Jesus heals people because of the faith of others, uh, and in particular, the times when he raised someone from the dead, uh, the widow of Nain's son in Luke's gospel. There's no evidence that that that's dead man had any faith, but Jesus healed him anyway. There was the faith of others. And so I hope you have good friends. Don't take them for granted. Be a friend to others. That's one of the expressions in the Curcio movement. You know, you, you know, make a friend, be a friend, and bring your friend to Christ. So keep, keep focused on those around you, and I hope you have lots of good friends. And I've just been thinking of the old, the sermon song we used to sing in the 70s. Have a blessed day today, and God willing, Don and I will see you here again tomorrow.